$998 is how much the average consumer expects to spend this 2021 winter holiday season. That's a lot of money. I mean, how many other months out of the year do you tack on almost $1,000 to your average spending? So in this video, I'm going to share with you three tips to help you best control your holiday spending habits. Hey, Money Lion, my name is Austin Hankwitz, and I talk about personal finance and investing online. And just like you, I go overboard sometimes with my holiday spending. But by using tools to track down coupons, making our own naughty or nice list, and setting spending limits, we'll make our money go just a little bit farther this holiday season. Starting with tip number one, get into couponing. And keep in mind, there are a lot of tools out there to help you find deals and coupon codes to help you save. If you're shopping online, look at apps like Dosh, Ibotta, Honey, or just go to coupons.com. Even if you missed out on Black Friday or Cyber Monday deals, many brands run promotions through the end of the year, and those tools can help you find coupon codes you might have missed otherwise. And what's even better is those tools can help you turn holiday couponing into a New Year's resolution that'll help you save money all of 2022. This brings us to tip number two. If you have a shopping list, check it twice. Santa has to buy presents for the whole world. That does not mean that you have to. If your shopping list includes more than five people outside of your immediate family, consider finding ways that you can show these other people in your life appreciation with a gesture that's more cost effective. You can bake cookies, make something crafty, pull together a little slideshow of photos, nice little meaningful letter with it. I get it. It's the season of giving and I'm not trying to sound like the Grinch, but there are ways to celebrate people outside of your inner circle that won't break your budget. Speaking of budgets, tip number three, set a realistic spending limit for yourself. The easiest way to do this is to carefully analyze your budget and then specifically figure out how much can safely come out of your bank account without having to rack up debt on those high interest credit cards. If you want to spend a little bit more, that doesn't mean it has to come from the money that might be left over at the end of the month, but it can instead come from the dining out money or the new clothes money you have allocated for the next month, two, or even three. As long as you're using cash and not dipping into your rent money, you're good to go. Remember, $988 is a lot of money and holiday spending can rack up quickly. Seek out couponing tools, search for lower cost gestures for people outside of your inner circle, and look at your budget before you shop. By doing that, you can keep both the holidays and your wallet happy. As a brief heads up, this is a sponsored video. Moneyline and I have partnered with the goal of making important financial lessons easier to understand. My name is Austin Hankwitz, and I'll see you on the next episode of Beyond the Wallet.